All right. 2013 AP Calculus, free response questions. Question two, calculator problem. A particle moves along a straight line from zero to five. Lots of the particles given by V of T equals that function. It is a polynomial. No, it's not. It has a root component, so it's a composite. But the bottom is odd, so it's definitely continuous in the interval zero to five. Position particles given by S of T, and they give you an initial condition. So obviously, the fundamental theorem of calculus is coming here. At some point, we're going to integrate V of T using S of zero on this problem. So let's find all values of T in the interval two to four for which the particle speed, not velocity, is two. So you got to understand that the letter A. All right. So again, got to find where the speed. Again, the pot can be positive or negative. But I would write it this way. The AP probably would write it this way. And my board's lagging because I'm going to go entire page. I want to talk about the calculator side of this problem. Because if you have your calculator, all right, I'm going to bring it up. Solver might not be the best way to do this. Because yeah, my batteries are always low. Too much math going on. Because if I go to solver and I already put it in, you type 3 and you tell it to solve. And now the question is, is that the only answer? And you might guess 3.3 .3 second solve. And you know, it can work your way through it. It'll take forever. But if you graph it, and I graph two lines. I graph the function that gave us V of T, and I graph Y equals 2. And again, based on my window, you can see here the gap. So again, we can use the intersection tool to find those points of intersection. And I think that is a better method in this case for how to do this problem. So I, I capture that and I put my calculator back over here and I do the intersection. I get the two times that are shown here. And one of them came up on solid. I mean, it was correct. T equal 3 point. And I'll just go three decimal places like the AP. And the next decimal. All right, was some number because they took one of these two times. And then the other time was 3.473. So that's it. You get one point for the two answers, and you get one point for considering this, but that would also be credit for this. They want you to know, they want to see that you thought that. Since it was speed, the velocity could be negative or positive. All right, and now the best part for the problem going forward is I have the graph in my calculator. I've typed it in once, and I should be able to do all the work I need for the rest of it. There. All right, so part B. Write an expression involving an integral that gives the position s of t. Use this expression to find the position of the particle at t All right, so we're going to write the equation first, the general equation. Now, again, you just can't write the integral from 0 to t for v of t because that is only going to be the change in place, displacement over that time. You have to have the initial condition. So I would write it this way for the general. In S of 5, I would substitute in 10 plus. 0 to 5 dt dt. And again, this is simply a calculator problem. I'm going to do the integral. I'm going to type it all on my calculator. 10 plus the integral z to 0 to 5 of dt dt. And again, you notice that this is a question about the position of the particle, not the distance. Distance would have to be the absolute value. This is not a distance problem. So when I plug this in, I get negative 9.207. And I would have put in the fourth decimal place. Again, I'm reading this from the AP, though. So you get two points. You get a point for the S of T, and you get a point for the value. All right? And again, so we're two questions in, four points in. And I would say those are pretty straightforward questions, both of them. You've got to be careful on speed. That would be the one mistake that would be easy to make. All right, question C. Find all values of t in the interval 0 to 5, but what's the particle changes direction? Okay, got to be careful here. First of all, if it's going to change direction, the velocity has to change. So, first thing you want to do is find when v of t equals 0. 
and again, I would, I'm using my calculator for this. I'm going to write these equal zero. I have the domain shown in zero five on the graph we have from letter A, and I can search those intersection points with the zero. And again, calculate, you know, calculate, find the zeros, give the bounds, and you know it'll calculate it. So the point is, is that you use your calculator and put the graphs in there. This is fairly quick. When I find 0 0.5360, and I find time, there's only two in my in my domain. I can see that. 3.3178. All right. Now the problem here is you have to show, you have to show the change in sign. And you can tell that from the graph. So when I look at my graph, I can see that below 0.53 it's negative and above it's positive. So at t equals 0 0.5360, v of t goes negative to positive. And you probably should spell it out on the AP. I'm not going to here. I already have credit for AP calculus. I don't have to. There. All right. Now yeah, I do. So I would probably make one more statement. Therefore, article change of direction. At time equals zero point five three six zero and. 3.317. Doesn't ask which way, so I wouldn't bother doing it. All right. The points are that you consider BT zero. There's a point for me. And the other one is that you have the justification about that. It goes negative positive. And everybody, the reason you have to check it is that it's possible to go positive velocity to zero and then positive again. Think about it. When you stop in your car at a stop sign, you're driving forward, you stop at zero, then you drive forward again. You haven't changed direction. It is the same on this problem. All right. So again, that was six, two, two, and three. That leaves two points for the last one. Is the speed of the particle increasing or decreasing at time four? Give your answer justification. All right. Again, if the acceleration and the velocity are both the same sign, your speed is increasing. That is the key to this problem. So first thing I do is just use my calculator and get via 4. And when I plug it in, I got a negative 11.4758. Then I would use my calculator and derive and get a value for a of 4, which is v prime. And I might write that that was v prime, actually. Move that over a little bit and write v prime, of course. So that they know I'm using this thing. And again, it came out negative 22.8. Two nine five seven. All right. All I care is they're both negative. Speed is increasing. Boom. Say what? Say what the answer is. Always state it. Gas is increasing. Because B of four is less than zero, and A of four is less. Than zero. Boom. Two points for that whole answer. And again, realizing that it has to be that way. All right? Again, 2013, question two. Guys, keep practicing. AP is coming up. Understanding why is the most important part.